In this video, we are going to remove the Gorilla Glass of this Samsung S3. It's a black edition, like because it's all black, but as you can see the screen is broken. It's all shattered, so we are going to start working on the phone. We are going to apply heat over here. Try to not apply too much heat, otherwise you will damage the, the screen. It will turn gold. To make the work, you will need like a car, like this one, a swift knife, a heat gun, um, a piece of plastic like this. So you can hold it like that while you're making pressure from here. And that's it. As you can see, the phone works. Before starting working, we are going to shut it down, remove the battery and everything, and start the, the work. Wait. We remove the battery, we don't have any chip or anything like that. Try not to put more heat than 100 degrees Celsius. If you have a gun like this one, try to use in the middle so it will not overheat the, the phone. Remember, little by little, try not to make too much force, otherwise you can break it. And once you can put the car, we are going to work with the car. We're going to proceed to put the knife just in the vessel over here to remove the glass. As you can see, it's unglue it, gluing it very well now we can use the cord to keep pushing and going forward Sure, remember to keep it warm or if it cool off just try to put more over to put more heat There you go, as you can see, everything is working great. Remember here, you can put some heat and the car will remain here in this place, so it may protect it from the heat so it will not damage the screen. We're going to use the knife because we are using the car 
behind of this glass and you can see great it works perfect now we have to do the, the same procedure procedure Once we have the car here, we do the same procedure like here in this in this side, so we will not damage the the glass. Remember here you have the, the flex on the bottoms and everything, so you have to be very careful to unglue it, to separate it. I will do the same thing with the other part. Great. You can see. We have done the, the work. Now to test it out, we're going to put the, the battery. Be sure that everything works fine. As you can see the screen works. No problem at all. And you can see the, the the screen works well, no problem. The next thing that we have to do is to clean this the screen, of course, and glue it, it again, and it will work just fine. Now we are going to clean the screen and everything to do the replacement. In order to do that, we are going to need cotton. If you want, you can use windshield liquid. Otherwise, you can use alcohol too. We are going to start with alcohol. If it is very hard to remove, you, you have to use like a glue remover. It would be easier. will not damage or scr uh, scratch the screen or anything like that. It will work just fine. And you can see everything is looking very good we have to clean it a little bit more We can use another product like this. It works. It works great to make it shine and leave it like it brand new.
Now we have to let it dry a little bit. Well, like you can see, it looks great. So we are going to proceed to put the, the glue and everything. In order to do that, we have to remove the replacement from the package. Try not to touch it in the back of, of the windows. Always in the front is okay because you are going to be able to clean it. But if you do it in the other side, it will be hard to remove any spot or anything like that. Just be sure that it doesn't have any other piece of plastic in the back. Some colors, they, they do have the extra protection, but others, they don't. So remember that. Once we have cleaned everything, we are going to use this glue. What we have to do is to remove the cap, of course. But we are going to use just half of the end. So half of the end, so half of the glue will go outside and some inside. So that way we can put just a little bit on the borders. So it will not, so we, so we won't have glue on, on the screen. Be careful with the camera, of course, and the sensors and everything. Just be careful with the strings that the glue may do. Be careful with the flex and everything and the screen. Well, now the same thing in the other side. Now we have to put some glue on the bottom here. So now we have to be very careful to put it this way. So we have to turn on the cell phone, of, co of course, so we can check the, the lights. The lights will go just in the right place. Um, you can see them, you can see the light through. You see the light? Okay. Now we can take advantage of the, the lights where they belong. Okay, great. So we can see the light here on the bottom. This is very important because sometimes it happens that the sensors go a little up or down or whatever, and then you don't see the lights here. Once you finish, you can put like a heavy book on top of it so it will keep the glass down uh, it will dry fine otherwise you can use some clamps if you want to to keep it in the right place well as you can see the phone works fine the menus here you can see the lights too the home button works too so the only thing that you have to do is just clean it up a little bit, put the set of plastic in the back, and that's it. I hope you have enjoyed this video, and if you have any doubts, just leave me a, leave some comments below and subscribe to my channel. See you soon.